action. Anyways, um, hi, I'm Jim McLeod with McLeod Livestock. Um, just slowly trying to build the fleet up here. We got a 1990 uh, Coast Pipe Trailer is what they call these. They got a canvas top, and of course, it's all pipe. Um, over the next couple weeks, we're going to be rebuilding this girl, adding to our fleet, <laughs> trying to build it up into something. Somebody said something to me at the sale barn the other day. I mentioned that I was rebuilding this trailer and building my own company up. And they said something really stupid. At least it, it was stupid to me. They said, I wouldn't put anything in a trailer unless the what I was loading was worth more than the trailer. That's a really stupid thing to say to me because I took that as a challenge. So, Anyways, what we're going to do here is we're going to strip it down. As you guys can see down here, we got a lot of rot through. And uh, like here, it's really bad on the other side. We did get some halfway decent tires on it. The lights for the, uh, the wiring all works, brakes work good. On this canvas piece in here on the inside of the trailer, we're going to get some plywood, cut, cut it to fit on the doors, get it clamped on there good with some U-bolts. And uh, if my son will keep the camera on me, I'll show you what I'm talking about on the rock. So, Lord. if my son will look down here at this edge here, it's rotted out pretty good there, folks. Uh, plus the lumber's shot. Now, believe it or not, I've actually hauled with this trailer, but we only hauled a buggy. We didn't haul any horses or anything. Uh going to get new canvas all the way down to the front down into this front here we're going to it's going to go all the way down and uh new canvas of course across the top we're going to paint the trailer black with a gray canvas on the top and the nose we're going to make up some slats to go through here get her a little more airtight we're of course going to stick with the canvas theme but i am going to make up some wind blockage because up here in the north it gets mighty damn cold and of course, uh, the center gate here. And son, just to let you know, you got to stay back far enough for people to be able to see what I'm pointing at. This gate here is going to get a piece, of, a couple of some plywood bolted to it. Keep the cattle from sniffing each other and getting arguing over the gate. I've seen that before. That's no fun. Um, I'll be posting pictures, guys. Thank you. Have a good one.